Is it currently more wallet friendly to sign a rental agreement rather than commit to a monthly mortgage? Recent headlines scream, yes! Claiming lower monthly costs for renters compared to home buyers. But here's the kicker. These snapshots fail to take equity into account. A game changer in the buy versus rent debate. Let's dissect this dilemma and figure out what's the next best step for you in home ownership. Nationally, the median rental payment is currently lower than the median mortgage payment. For instance, if you're eyeing a two bedroom setup, the difference could be around $151 monthly, $2,040 for a monthly mortgage versus $1,889 for a rental. While this might tilt the scales in favor of renting, there's the hidden element that always flips things back, equity. Understanding equity is crucial. Renting means your monthly payments are fleeting. They secure your living situation for the month, but offer zero long-term financial return. When you write your rent check, it's gone. On the other hand, every single mortgage payment you make builds equity, turning part of your payment into an investment in a tangible asset of property. Essentially, while buying a home shields you from the elements just like a rental, it also shores up your financial future, which a rental can't do. According to experts polled from the Home Price Expectations Survey, home values are expected to surge over the next five years. This uptrend means that buying a home sooner rather than later could net you significant equity gains, far outstripping the perceived short-term savings of renting. Let's paint a practical picture. You purchase a home valued at $400,000 this year. Fast forward five years, following the trend lines from over 100 expert predictions, and you might see your property increasing in its worth, potentially boosting your initial investment in your home by $83,000. Compared to renting, where saving a few hundred dollars each month gives you little more than a slight financial buffer, buying a home offers a robust route to wealth accumulation. However, this doesn't mean that buying a home is universally the right choice right now. It's vital to balance this perspective with a clear-eyed look at your financial situation. High upfront costs, maintenance expenses, and the responsibility of property taxes are significant considerations. If these feel overwhelming, the flexibility and lower initial costs of renting might be more suitable for your current circumstances. And I would also argue that even if you're not financially ready right now, you should start having those conversations with an agent or a lender so that you can get prepared for the future. In essence, while enticing home appreciation rates present a compelling case for buying, it's crucial to personalize this decision. Examine your financial health, career stability, and long-term goals. If the numbers line up and you're geared for a long-term investment, Plunging into the housing market could be a smart move. Bottom line, don't let simplistic comparisons from clickbait headlines dictate your housing decisions. Consider the long-term benefits of equity. And remember, buying a home isn't just about finding a place to live. It's about investing in your and your future generation's financial future. And whether you're ready to explore this avenue financially right now, or perhaps you need a little bit coaching to get ready for the future, I would love to help. Drop a comment below or contact me directly because I'd love to delve into your options and help you create a roadmap to succeed. Because buying a house isn't simply just saving up a ton of money so that you don't have to pay a landlord. It's about so much more, and I wanna help you understand why equity matters. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.